Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky, and today we're talking about JS Nation. And joining me is Wes Boss. Now, JS Nation is a conference going down in New York. It's happening November 18th, but there's also going to be a hybrid conference where you can watch online November 21st. I'm going to have a discount link in the description below, and make sure you sign up and attend. This thing is going to be amazing. So first off, Wes is known for teaching. Wes, could you tell us a little bit about what you've been working on lately? Yeah, well, um, Scott, you'll have, you'll have heard of this. Uh, we have a podcast called Syntax where we talk about web development, and uh, I make a bunch of courses revolving around web development, JavaScript, CSS, HTML, server-side, front-end, all that good stuff. Yeah, this is the uh, first time hearing about it. it. sounds really interesting. I'll have to <laughs> Scott. Uh, give it a listen. <laughs> Scott yeah. is trying to pretend that we don't know each other or that we don't do a, do this three times a week, and it's, it's going well. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Wes, you're known for your hot tips. Uh, what, what inspires you to share what you learn? Yeah. I really like digging into whatever is new, um, whether it's new HTML, CSS APIs, whether it's new JavaScript APIs, whether it's new libraries, or just even just like approaches that people are taking on things. And I love to dig into it. I love to make examples. And then the hot tips is is just something that comes out of that. I love to share how these things work. Yeah. What makes you stop when you see something new? I know you, you like to get into a lot of things that are new and upcoming uh, in yeah. the space, but like, what makes you stop and say, huh, that's, let me dive in further? Uh, it's about half, like I'm literally in the middle of building something and I go, hmm, that's a neat approach to do this or oh, other people should know about this approach. So I'll stop what I'm doing and either make a demo or record it just on whatever I'm working on. Um, and then the other half is just to just have a, a list of things I'd like to check out. And every now and then I'll just grab one of those things and take a take a dive into it and go, ah, I learned something. Let's share it with everybody else. Yeah. What's something that has caught your attention recently? Oh, man, so much, so much. I, I think probably the, the biggest stuff is all the new like CSS APIs dialogue popover, page transitions, customizable select, which is coming really soon. Yeah. It's just like the CSS stuff is popping off lately and it's there's so much to learn. Seriously, uh, exciting times, right? So your talk at JS Nation is titled A Look Ahead at Web Development in 2025. Can you give us a breakdown of you know what that means and a little preview? Yeah, yeah. So JavaScript is moving really fast. Um, the browsers are moving very fast. Servers are moving really fast. CSS is moving really fast. There's so much that has come out in the last year, year and a half. And I think we're at a point where, oh, wow, like if I'm building something fresh or I'm building a new feature, I can now tackle that with this idea of not what we've been using for all these years, but how do I approach this with all these new APIs? So um, there's big ideas being added, uh, possibly soon to the browser signals and observables. Um, there's really good web standards. Um, a lot of the uh, new, both client and server APIs are all built on web request, fetch, streaming, form data, a sync context. All of these APIs are just really good primitives, really good web standards that are both on the server and in the client. On top of that, we're seeing like lots of alternative JavaScript runtimes, right? There's about, I don't know, probably about seven or eight different JavaScript runtimes that are all approaching it a little bit different. But again, using the same standard APIs on the server, we're seeing lots of stuff with uh, WebGPU and WASM that are allowing us to run AI right in the browser. Uh, what else? Just And just like not even talking about JavaScript is the new CSS APIs I touched upon earlier are taking the need away from writing a whole bunch of JavaScript, which allow us to make awesome, awesome interfaces. So it, it's awesome. Tooling, proposals for new stuff being added to JavaScript. It's it's a wild time for web development. And I think 2025 is going to be a, a big year for actually getting to use this stuff. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm stoked to see your talk. And uh, if there's anything I know about a West Boss talk, it's that they're always super entertaining and you always walk away <laughs> with a, a ton of new things. So I, I'm really excited, Wes. And if you're excited by this and you want to check out Wes's talk, JS Nation again happening November 18th in New York or sign up for the hybrid conference November 21st. Again, we will have a link below. And if you, you're heading to New York, you can come hang out with the rest of the Syntax crew, Wes and 
I will be in the house. So thank you so much for watching and thank you for your time, Wes. All right. Thanks for having me. See you.